up guys, uh, Hate King here bringing you a live reaction to the RE4 remake trailer free that just got released at State of Play. I've already seen it. It's great. Uh, if I look under the weather, it's because I feel really sick at the moment, so I am forcing myself to do this before I go to bed. So I'm just going to watch this trailer and do a breakdown essentially of it, an analysis. So we're going to go through this bit by bit. So I'm going to watch the trailer first. And then I'm going to break it down for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, before I start, of course, remember to like and subscribe. And here we go. Starting now. You see, we are all connected through the holy body. When you need only accept the sacred gift. <laughs> Trust me. Like she did. Lots of new stuff in this. Child. Lots of new stuff to dissect. It's great. Taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Salad while talking. Ah, uh, the entertainment. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess bay. <laughs> I'll make a cheek for you. Move! I love that so Louise gets an expanded role in there. Long time no see. Did you cross her? Why? You can't save her. You can't save anyone. What's gonna happen to me? You gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Together. I love the familiar soundtrack to the baby night. And come, Sancho Panta! Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea! You gotta hurt yourself. Where's Mike? My car. Very temple to do. You're kidding. Ah, yes. The time has come. Thank you, Garados. Oh, this looks so good. The browser fun looks so good. I'm ready to die. Okay. Exalt all Leon! And let it be so. This time, it has to be different. And I've got a lot to say about this part here as well, so. Yeah, my throat really hurts, guys. Time to call some mayhem! And mercenaries more confirmed. One month to go, guys. Literally one month to go, and there's a special demo coming. Of course, there is. There's always a. Okay, so we start with this part here, which we see later on. We can see Leon here. We can see Ashley there in the background. Hold on. In the background there. So. You see, we are. I don't know what this is here, Plagos. All connected through the holy body. Holy body, yeah. So we got some people praying, dirt. I don't know what this is. I guess one of the Plagos has erupted. I don't know what room, I don't know what part of the game that is. This is clearly meant to be very castle heavy. I'm assuming this this is the part where you fall down. And you get chased by uh, the, the 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 Salazar's bodyguard Vertigo. We got some. I think these are some symbols. Some loose lost Illuminati symbols. You can see like pikes and that. So clearly, this must be that area, right? Like there's people falling down and lying pale. So we see this dude. So this is a new enemy. It looks like uh, the bugs erupting from the back. Let's look at this room here. Can't really tell what, what area this is in. It's obviously the castle, but what part I don't know. Uh, some antique antiques here. So we get a bigger we get a better look at the ritual room. Right? Now what's interesting here is we we can see Ashley here, obviously. We can see Sad Sad Sadler here. It's not Salazar, it's Sadler. But we also have these two new characters here, and I'm assuming that these are these are not Salazar's bodyguards. These are, in fact, Sadler's bodyguards, I think. I'm trying to come up with an idea of what this room could be, but I'm assuming this is a whole new area in the game. 
or unless it's a re-ramped area that I and I can't really tell, so I can't really think unless unless this is the original scepter room. Remember off the minecart, you then go into a room where you have to get like the lion crest that you need to access the tower so you can go up and get Ashley, but then you, you fight you end up fighting Salazar instead. So I'm wondering if this is a revamped version of that area, like once you go through the minecart and that you end up here. And you get something here maybe like actually escapes and then you end up fighting these guards or one of them and then sadler goes on his way perhaps she did. so we got a good look at sadler here um he you know what actor he reminds me of like the look that they got for this dude he looks like that actor from a. he's that bald he's that <laughs> i'm saying bald he looks like every typical white bald actor right no he, he reminds me of um do you guys remember lost do you remember Charles Whitmore? He reminds me of the actor who played him. So we can see Ashley attacking Leon, but no. Temperance, child. So, yeah, she gets in control. I'm wondering if there's going to be a segment where we have to dodge her attacks or fight her off. We can see here that this is the elevator that you take inside the tower as you're going up to fight uh, Salazar. I'm taking the liberty prepared. So, yeah. This area is back. This room, can't really tell what area this is, unfortunately. Maybe a new area. No. Actually, I think we, we got a chest there. But I'm looking over here. I could be wrong. Now, is this the statue room, perhaps? Is this, is this one of the areas you go through before, like, and is the statue area, like the giant Salazar statue, perhaps? Is this this area, perhaps? I'm wondering, I'm curious. Here's the catapult, we got the catapult, so that's, that's in the game, that's in the final version. The developers have made it very clear that they're trying to stick to the original game as much as possible without cutting any content this time. We got... So there's Luis. That's obviously meant to be the pills, I'm assuming. Uh, or this is the pl plugger sample, maybe. So this is either the plugger sample, the master plugger sample that Luis steals. Or this is... I'll make it cheaper for you. I think he says I'll make it cheaper for you. So I'm wondering if this is actually the pills that you get. That you take. <gasps> so this is new. Uh, well, technically it's not. It's new and it's old. This is the lava room. So they've kept the lava room. They've kept the two El Gigantos, but there's one major difference. Luis is in this segment now, so if you guys remember, he dies very early on in the castle segment. Um, as you get to Ashley and you're about to save her after she's been kidnapped in the castle, he gets he gets killed, and then that's it. And then you and then she, Ashley gets kidnapped again, and then you go through this entire underground segment in the castle. But no, it looks like Luis lives past his expiration date and joins you in the underground segments of the castle which is great because that i was assuming that they would actually cut all of that stuff out from the underground um because because it, it just felt like filler do you know what I mean and there, there was no there was not much story going on in there but the fact that they've added luis into that segment i'm assuming it's going to be the majority of that entire segment is is good because it's it adds character development for Luis, but it also means that Leon's no longer going through that entire segment by himself. It, it no longer feels lonely and empty and devoid. There's something going on there. You're you're getting help, so that's good. Always like this with you. How about you open fire? Yeah, yeah. This is the see. This is there's Luis again. You can see Luis here, and there's the Bella sister. So I believe this is the uh, room where where the, the 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 villagers were mining the fossils. And you use dynamite. You get you 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 turn on a cart, and then you get dynamite from it. And you use the dynamite to blow this rock away. And you fight Doctor Salvador in that segment. So I think instead of Salvador, it's obviously one of the Bella sisters. Maybe both of them, perhaps in this. No idea yet. And yeah, Lewis is obviously here with you for this entire segment. So that's great. Long Browser. Why? Agent Krauser. He refers to him as Agent Krauser. Yep, Krauser in, is in this. For those of you who don't know, people who played the first 20 minutes of this game did confirm he actually shows up in the very beginning of the intro, training Leon. So Krauser's in there. I'm wondering if they're going to make references to Operation Javier, or if they're just going to ignore that. What is that noise? It sounds like something was burning. 
I know that's the <laughs> sorry. So this room, I don't remember what room this is. Uh, Ashley's there with you. Is this is this the main throne room area? We got the Ashley gameplay segment in this, uh, where she's going through the, uh, after she gets rescued. Sorry about that, I think that's the tea kettle. I've got a tea kettle here to pour some hot water to drink, but yeah. We got Ashley going through the segment here. She's got a lantern now that she's using, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. The area's darker, a bit more stealth horror-ish. Uh, I'm wondering if there's more Ashley segments. I think there's going to be a beginning part, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Uh, you know, the very first trailer we saw for this game, we saw this little moment where Ashley's running through the village area, so I'm wondering if that's a cut. So, you know, that's a playable segment. What's going to happen to me? The water room. This is the water room, if you guys remember. <laughs> Yeah, this is the water room. I hated this part in the game. I honestly thought they might remove this or condense it, but no, it looks like it's all in there. Because there's Ashley, there's Ashley pulling the crank, and then there's that part where you have to go on the on, uh, and stand. Each of you has to stand on one of the uh, uh, levers or panels, if you will. Together. Thanks. In comes Sancho Panta. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You gotta hurt yourself. <laughs> So Lewis, uh, I feel like there's going to be more of a fun character in this in this remake than he was in the original. Like the fact that they've expanded his role just says a lot now, so that's good. So this part, this is the first glimpse I think of the island. Now the crowds are the crowds are segment that we just saw. I don't know if that's the island or if that's the uh, castle because for we know crowds are shows up earlier now, uh, or they are going to keep it the same and it is the it is the island, but. Uh, this confirms that the island is in the game. Again, the developers did confirm the islands in there. They did confirm the island will be revamped. It's not expanded, but um, yeah, they mostly said it was it was slightly changed around. So yeah, I'm curious to see what they've changed and what they've not technically added, technically, because they did say they changed it. So yeah, Mike. My... One what combat job by Hunnigan. Uh, what compliments from Hunnigan. So yeah. Um... A bit hard to hear the dialogue, but yeah, that's cool. Mike is in the game. Again, developers in the recent interview, I think for Game 4, did say that Mike is in the game a bit longer, so he has a bigger role, I guess. I don't know how, but we'll see. The minecart is in there, yep. That's that's in there, and Lewis is there. So yeah, throughout the entire underground part, Lewis is going to be there with you. So let's see. The underground part starts originally with vertigo right you fall down and then you and then you're going through the tunnels uh, and then you're fighting salazar's bodyguard and then you you know if you have the rocket launch and you use that you one shot kill him off and you freeze him i'm assuming you meet luis after that segment and then he joins you throughout the rest of the part of the game with the uh el gigantos the the minecart happens at the very end i believe the minecart is just like before the bugs i think like isn't it isn't it isn't it the isn't it the fossil room the lava room and then the uh and then the bugs like this is whole segment of the bugs i'm starting to wonder if maybe that segment with sadler and ashley in that ritual area is the bug area perhaps this is kind of fun I i'm curious how louis dies in this version now uh, yeah. So yeah, we, we got this look uh, funny looking area here. I don't know what this, I mean, you got the caverns and that. So for all I know, this could be the final battle actually with, 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 with Sadler and, it, and it's all different now. But then you've got this giant looking Plagas thing there. And that reminds me of the segment with, with Salazar. So is this a whole new area? Is this a revamped? I mean, you've got these construction bits here, but then this is clearly an underground cavern. So is this the bug area that's been revamped, and this is perhaps the nest? This is this like like I mean you can see the tentacles moving there, but then it looks like there's something in there. Like is this the bug? Like again, I'm just very confused what this is. It like th what this is. This this might not be the Salazar boss fight area because that's in a tower. This does not look like it's in a tower. This looks like it's in the underground. So what is this? This could be a giant cocoon essentially. In which case. This is the dog's nest, perhaps. We got the Garados. The Garados is con is confirmed. Yeah, it looks like the area might be a bit bigger here. I I was um at one point I was uh com you know thinking maybe this will be like a proper boss fight. 
and you're sort of in this big elaborate prison area and you just sort of sneak about as it attacks you and tries to kill you we're back in the lab we've got this little code here we've got these three i'm wondering if this is like a puzzle like you have to collect three keys to unlock the door like i told you we get the krauser fight we get the krauser fight here again this most likely is the island um but i'm trying to see what part it is like i'm wondering if this is the construction part of the giant plug us i don't know we can see the Perry system at work. They did say that the uh, Perry system came from this. Like originally, they it's, they took they basically cut quick time events out. So this is going to be an actual playable segment now. And that's how the Perry system was you know was born. So they're like, okay, let's make this a thing. So you're able to parry. And I, I was I was again I was thinking when they when they revealed the knife, like the new addition to the how the knife was done in the in this remake. I was wondering if this is how we're going to do the crowds of boss fight. And yeah, that is confirmed now. I'm gonna get you home safe. So I don't know what is going on here. He's on some metal plating. I'm wondering if this is Lewis's death, uh, or if this is maybe the El Gigante segment. Like, but yeah, I'm wondering if Lewis gets killed by Ashley in this one. Maybe she shoots him or stabs him under Sattler's orders or control, perhaps. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think how different they'll do his death in this version. Because uh, if they're expanding his role, then I'm imagining they're going to make his death a bit more dramatic as well. So, so here we get the again. We're going back to the crowds of fire. We can see the background now. So this looks like an elevator shaft of sorts. We can see the cargo elevator here. Um, Ready to die. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is the segment with it. Perhaps I don't know. Like you've got the elevator shaft. Trying to see if there's anything recognizable in Krauser's outfit, but he looks pretty much the same. Like they haven't really done anything different with his character. He, he looks the same here, which is great. This this is fossils. We can see some lost plugas in there. Yeah, Sadler again. He's all in all his glory. He looks very blow-filled actually. Now when I think about it, I guess this does have sort of a James Bond feeling. Our first glimpse of Ada in this trailer, and our only glimpse as well. And Leon getting taken over by the Lost Plagas. Now this is interesting, some sort of explosion, we see the bugs, they're confirmed. I don't know what this could be. Maybe, maybe something happens and Luis sacrifices himself and there's a big explosion, maybe like... Leon, you can see the veins, and Leon's getting taken over. Same with Ashley, it's like they're losing control. It has to be different. And then we get a look at the uh, the cure, the machine that cures you, that gets the the radiation machine that gets the plagas out from their bodies. I'm wondering if this will be playable. Like you have to get, you have to use like the joysticks, whatever, to sort of move the lasers about and pinpoint accuracy, kill the plagas inside Ashley and Leon's bodies now. Uh, which I wouldn't mind. It reminds me of if they do this. It remind it's very re reminiscent of the uh, needle in the eye segment with Isaac Clarke in Dead Space Two, where you where you have to like perfectly accurately get the laser in there. So I'm wondering if this is similar to that. Great trailer, great trailer. They revealed a lot, and obviously mercenaries more confirmed. They revealed a lot in this trailer, which is crazy. I did not think I was hoping I was hoping that when we do get this trailer, that it would pretty much show a lot of this, and they did. So I'm very happy. Um, a lot of people were complaining, being very naysaying in terms of, oh yeah, they're gonna cut a lot of content. Just from watching this alone, I can pretty much see that they've kept pretty much the majority of the game intact. The castle, at least from the segments we've seen, they've kept intact. Obviously, it's going to be interesting to see what what they might have cut, like uh, because obviously we haven't seen the other lava room with the tr flaming dragons. Uh, there's the turret room. We don't know if that's in there. We don't know if the maze is still in there, but I imagine it will be because that maze was one of the scariest parts. The clock tower, um, uh, the room with the knights. Uh, surely that's in there. Um, so th there's obviously a lot of areas we still have yet to see, but these are glimpses. These are little glimpses, and they're showing it to us. We haven't seen the regenerators yet. We haven't seen it. Um, so we've pretty much seen the majority of the bosses. We're, we've seen glimpses of uh, Mendes's boss fight. We've seen El Del Lago, Doctor Salvador, obviously El Giganto. We've seen the other two El Giganto fights uh, in the lava room now. 
uh, Kraus is in there, obviously. So yeah, we're missing obviously Salazar's bodyguard, the Salazar fight, uh, the Sadler fight. I, ma I imagine there'll be one more tra a launch trailer. I imagine that's it. We'll get a launch trailer, and that's going to give us certain glimpses to the final things in this game. Um, Ada's role is being kept very minimum and secret. I'm, w I'm wondering if this. I'm wondering if if Luis is now like this big companion to you in the castle. Uh, whether whether Ada will now be the other companion helping you during the island segment, and if there's going to be sections with Leon and Ada working together, I'm assuming that will be that might be a case. Um, and I'm wondering if Ada's separate ways is in there, where if if that's going to be integrated into the main game, perhaps where you play it and then you cut to Ada's part of the game, or if that's going to be a separate campaign, or if it's going to be DLC, because. Uh, in this day and age, I mean, I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping Capcom wouldn't be that greedy to do that, but because uh, that was an original. To be fair, no, actually, it wasn't. When the game originally came out, Ada's Separate Ways was not included. That was included in the PS2 version, which came out a year later, which sort of served as a sort of like a game of the year edition for the game, didn't it? So, hmm, hmm, that's a thing to think about. Like, would they would they stoop that low to do that? I hope not. I hope that's not the case, and we do get it as a separate. A separate campaign or integrate into the main game but uh overall everything i'm seeing from resident Evil 4 it's getting me excited i'm more excited than ever this trailer i think 100 percent killed any doubts i had um i was really really sure they would cut a lot from this game but they haven't they've they've kept true to a lot of the elements they've kept a lot of the segments obviously so yeah these guys are serious about making this into a proper proper remake uh it feels more like a remake than than a reimagining like re2 and re3 did i really did not like those games like they're fun games to play but they are not what i wanted from a remake um they were abysmal they really were abysmal compared to what we had with resident Evil one remake and now recently with the dead space one remake that's what you call remakes. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, at least from what I'm seeing right now, is doing exactly what I would have wanted a remake to do, which is expand on the game, give us more, give us more of the characters in there. We're, obviously, we're getting more Louise, we're getting some extra things there with Sadler and Ashley, so... And the tone is a bit more serious, so I like that. It's darker, it's more serious. Uh, there's definitely more of a horror tone to it. The, just from the lighting and and and, and the way the, the way the color and and the lighting and that is done, just it yeah, it just feels it has more of this darker aspect to it. Uh, just the glimpse of the island that we're seeing, it's like okay, it's a bit more. It feels more serious and amped up. Uh, obviously, some cheesy elements will be intact, obviously, but uh, I don't mind that. Uh, but just seeing this trailer, just it brought back memories from playing the original Resident Evil Four, like. It is one of my favorite games. It probably is one of the best games I've made. And I'm hoping this remake does it justice. I'm hoping this is a remake where you play it and at the end you're like, this is this is this is this is it. That this is this tops the original game in every single way, it improves it in every single way, in both gameplay and story. And yeah, this is the definite version now. So I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping that's what happens. I'm hoping that's what it will do. Um same way that you you know, same way that Ori won felt like the definite version of Resident Evil 1, you know, the remake for that. The same way that the new Dead Space remake now feels like the definite version of the, the original Dead Space. So I'm hoping this, I'm hoping Resident Evil 4 does that. I'm hoping Resident Evil 4 remake does that for the original RE4 in that you play and you're like, no, this is, this is the definite version versus RE2 and RE3, which felt so different from the original versions that they were based on that, you know, in the end you're just sort of like, man, I really wish they would just give us like a port of the PS1 games that we can play, like, on modern consoles, because I'd rather play those than play the remake, sadly. Uh, but, yeah, this looks good. Can't wait to get my hands on it. One month to go, guys. One more month to go. Anyway, that's that. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, just... Oh, man. Just so good. So good. I just... I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm just very curious about this. Like, this is the one area that's sort of, like, dumbfounding me. Like, what is this? <laughs> but, yeah, I can't wait, guys. I hope you like my uh, analysis on that. Uh, again, sorry for the audio, because I'm, I'm just using a webcam and uh, and that. So, yeah, I, I feel really sick at the moment. But, yeah, um, like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you.
Take care and bye.